We're speaking today about an exciting new fluid milk product coming from Dairy Gold. To tell us about it, we're speaking with Dwayne Nalui, an executive at the company who's been involved in the development of this product. Dwayne, thanks very much for speaking with us and uh, welcome to This Week in Dairy. Well, thank you, Joel. I'm happy to be here talking with you today. We've seen some publicity about a new product that you call FIT, F-I-T, and it's a fluid milk product. Uh, tell us about it. Well, we're, well, we're really excited about um, FIT and what it means to our, our enterprise and to the dairy category. Fit milk is just merely a, 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 a more modern and contemporary version of the milk that people know and love. It's got 75% more protein and it's got less sugar, but it also is lactose free. In addition to that, it tastes great. So it, it's really our effort to, to, to give consumers what they really want and love about milk it, without any compromise. And uh, we're kind of moving away from the traditional gallon white jug in the refrigerator in the uh, cooler that uh, some people say uh, is kind of the end of milk. But you you've got the beginning of of some exciting new products. Well, you know, I've I've only been in the dairy industry for, or directly in the dairy industry for about three years. Been been around the beverage industry for almost thirty years. And what I would tell you is that dairy merely needs to compete more directly with all the other beverage alternatives consumers have today. So Fit is really designed to do that to really provide consumers a you know what they're looking for in nutrition and other health benefits, and also with our investment in our plant. We're providing them with an interesting new product format. It'll be aseptic bottles, which will also give us the ability to expand the distribution of it, not only from a geographic standpoint, but it'll open us up to, to creating distribution in multiple channels. I would say in response directly to your question about the jug, you know, it's, it's something that we all need to address in the dairy business. We need to continue to evolve all of our formats and our packages just to continue to contemporize it. And I don't think the jug is dead. I just think it needs to, to be refreshed. Well, and the fit product looks like a way to do that. Um, tell us about how it was developed. You mentioned that the Dairy Checkoff, the DMI organization was uh, involved in, in helping come up with this product. Yeah, you know, I'm proud to say that we partnered with uh, DMI and with our farmers and that truly FIT was inspired um, from our farmers themselves who, who has, have challenged all of us to really find ways to re-engage consumers, to get them more interested in different varieties and forms of milk to help us revitalize fluid dairy. So uh, call it two and a half years ago, we started down a path of saying with DMI support, you know, what is really um, the, the untapped potential of fluid milk that we could really unlock and certainly ultra filtered, high protein, and low sugar, which is really important. In addition to lactose free, was a category that we saw growing, but more importantly, we saw that, that category of milk was winning back consumers from other beverages. In fact, what really got us excited was when DMI showed us that ultra filtered milk was gaining more than half of its new users from non-dairy drinkers. That growth is certainly exciting. Now the ultra filter, that means that uh, it does not require cooling and therefore has longer shelf life. Is that the case? So ultra filtration is, is merely a process by which we, we use a new filtration technology that allows us to separate the milk into its components and then recombine it in a way that's more compelling to consumers. So that's where we're allowed to concentrate the protein and also take out the lactose and reduce the sugars. What makes it shelf stable is our investment in aseptic technology. So our new Boise line, which we're investing $67 million into in this new line, is, is uh, gonna allow us to produce it in a aseptic shelf stable bottle. So it's really two different technologies in one. Thank you for correcting me there. And because it's, uh, is that, but that is not the UHT uh, uh, technology though either. Is that right? That's correct. 
currently make uh, UHT, and both in Portland and in our Boise locations, what we're doing is we're taking it a step further and investing in a new processing and bottling uh, line that allows us to go from UHT to aseptic shelf state. Understood. Uh, and this is a full flat, full fat product, or both full fat and uh, reduced fat. Well, currently today we have it available in two percent white and chocolate, and then just in January we've recently launched a whole milk variety as well. So it's available in three varieties: in both uh, a carton, which is fifty-nine ounces, and also in a single serve bottle um, that's fourteen ounces. And handy for consumers. Just show us that bottle again. You know, we're really, we're really proud of, of not just the fact that it provides great nutrition, but it's also great tasting. If you haven't had a chance to taste it, we'd love to send you some samples. In addition to that, you know, although it's, it, it's higher in protein, we wanted to position this as an all-family drink. It, and so that it was accessible to everyone. And that's why you see, you know, really contemporary graphics that are really about, you know, family use education. Sure, that's great. And it fits in the uh, cup holder in the, in the vehicles too. It's perfect for on the go. And, and uh, one of the things that really is exciting about this aseptic shelf stable um, capability is it really allows us to expand our distribution into multiple channels and the multiple usage occasions. You know, we're really trying to convert our, you know, a number of our dairy offerings into becoming more like a beverage, right? So that, that it can be available anywhere any other beverage is, is, is sold today. Now, while dairy is usually consumed cold, you know, this will create the ability for people to, to, to make it more portable, to take it with them, and maybe that they'll, they'll cool it later, but it really creates this portability and, and ease of access and convenience for consumers to help us compete with other beverages beyond dairy. When your Boise, Idaho plant expansion uh, is complete and production is underway, where do you look forward to distributing this product? Well, currently, you know, we, we are uh, really focused on our core geographies, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Utah, Nevada, call that our core geographies. But certainly, because it's shelf-stable, it will allow us to not only penetrate more customers and channels within our core geographies, we do have ambitions to, to grow the footprint of this, potentially nationally and even globally, over the long term. Sure. And that core footprint is also where your uh, dairy farmer owners are located, too, pretty much. Is that right? Northwest Dairy Association. Absolutely. You know, our, uh, we're very, very proud of our association with the Northwest Area Association. And certainly we continue to be inspired by them. And certainly this, this innovation called Fit Milk certainly was sponsored by, in large part, by our dairy farmers. Think of you know, the checkoff program, you know, is supported by the Northwest Area Association as well as other dairies around the country. And we've got tremendous support from, from the, the Dairy Farmers of Washington and Dairy West and all of the different uh, constituents, you know, within the, what I'll call the checkoff program. Sure. Well, we really appreciate this exciting news and uh, we'll watch for further developments. We thank you for taking time to tell us about it today. We thank you. We've been speaking with Dwayne Naluai from Dairy Gold about the new Dairy Gold Fit Fluid Milk product. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you. And this is Joel Hastings for DairyBusiness.com.